have a home decor problem and maybe you can relate to it. I have a space where I want to put an area rug. I need the most perfect area rug. I also need it to be very specific dimensions and these very specific dimensions don't seem to exist. I also don't know how to just make a rug. I could order a custom rug, but that would be hella expensive. So what did I do? I decided I'm going to cut a rug to make it the perfect size for my space and I'm going to show you how to do it too. Let's do it. There are a few things that you're going to need. A sharp razor or a pair of carpet shears. Carpet edging, this stuff is called Instabind. I'll make sure that I have it linked down below. It's the only brand that I found that actually does the edging like a finished rug. The cicadas are insane this time of year. <laughs> and some universal carpet seam sealer. Make sure that it does say that it dries clear. And of course also the rug. My edible kicked in and we are ready to get started. For step one, we are going to cut the rug. Measure it and cut it in the place that you need to. I have a little bonus tip for you is to grab a two by four and to place it down onto the rug so you have a nice hard surface but I don't have a two by four so I think I'm gonna use this table that I have over here that seems pretty um, big and flat flip it over so you can cut it from the back a piece of chalk is helpful when drawing the line because it can wipe off really easily not stain whatever is underneath but a pencil in that would probably be fine too this coffee table should help keep me in a straight line it would be better if it was a two by four but this will do I'm thinking you were made for me It's not my birthday yet Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby That was easy Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day Now I'm left with a little bit more than a half round here But I need to seal this seam because otherwise it's just going to fray and be a disaster and for that i'm using instabind this is a carpet tape that has an edging already built into it so all we have to do is stick it on and then glue it down and it's good Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove We are already at step number three, which is the gluing. This is a necessary step. I know you probably are thinking you want to skip it, but it's that you can't skip it. This is going to help hold all the fibers together and actually attach it to the tape. The tape is like, it's sticky, but it is repositionable. So it's not permanent. If you're going to use this in a space that wasn't going to get a whole bunch of walking, like my space, probably fine. But I also don't want to have to redo this project or repurchase rug in a few years. So I'm going to glue it. You know, actually this is a must. Don't skip the step, especially if it's a high traffic area, maybe like really focus on the step. I overdid it on the glue, so I'm just gonna use this wet rag to clean it up a little bit. I should have cut this hole way smaller. Make sure you cut it like tiny. It's gonna dry clear, so it's okay. table back on added some logs for weight so it's squishing it I think I need something heavy down here though hmm. this thing is pretty heavy and another log there we go now I'm just gonna wait some time for this to dry A few hours later, the glue is completely dry and I have a custom sized rug. Perfect 
for my specific foyer. All you need is a couple things that I'll link down below to make it easy for you. Five minutes and a tiny bit of confidence and you could do it too. And the best part is that you could do this with literally any carpet, any rug, any remnant, any scrap that you have. You can make it a finished carpet. Good luck with your carpet. Love you all so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.